Hi everyone, I just got my book of the month club. I am so excited to open this up, even though I'm the one who picked it, but I can't wait to uh, share it with you. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my returning viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much. You guys are amazing and you mean the world to me. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck is up with that? I hope that you uh, consider subscribing. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And yeah, so anyway, I am about to do my book of the month club. So book of the month club. Um, so it costs $9.99 a month. Shipping is free. You can pick up to two additional books with your book of the month club. They give you five to choose from that they've picked for their book of the month club. In the beginning, it didn't let me pick additional ones, but maybe now that I've been in for a few months, I can pick an older one instead of the book of the month club, which is what I did this week. Um, if you use my link or anyone else's link that does the book of the month club, your first book is only $5. $5. I think we get a credit or something. I don't know. This month was free. So I, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and read the fine print to figure out why I got a free book. Unless maybe someone used my link. I don't know if you did. Thank you so much. So anyway, the one I picked just kind of jumped at me. And this month they had, um, you know, the five book of the month. Uh, the ones that they picked, and they all sounded so good. I kept going back and forth, back and forth, and I only wanted to get one because, well, you know, I only read like one day last week. So I was hoping uh, to maybe just get one, and I couldn't decide. So then I just kind of clicked on uh, pick addition, choose some additional ones, and this one jumped at me. Yeah, I cannot read, wait to read this one. This sounds so good. So this is called Home Before Dark by Riley, Riley Sager. And it's a horror story and you get a little bookmark so this one's a little uh, i'm a freak between the sheets i didn't know i was but i think they i think they're talking about the book not those sheets she sheets yeah anyway let me feel good for a second so anyway home before dark so anyway i'll read the uh, from the front cover here it just really sounded interesting so it says bells that ring themselves record players that turn on and play music to empty rooms. Ghosts that climb out of wardrobes. Maggie Holt doesn't believe in these things, even though they are the details of the story that made her family famous. 25 years ago, she and her parents, Ewan and Jess, moved into Bainbury Hall, a rambling Victorian estate in the Vermont woods. They spent 20 days there before fleeing in the dead of the night. An ordeal Ewan later recounted in a horror memoir, House of Horrors. His tale of ghostly happenings and encounters with malevolent spirits became a worldwide phenomenon, rivaling the Amityville horror in popularity and skepticism. Maggie has lived her whole life in the shadow of her father's book. So when she inherits Bainbury Hall after his death, she returns to renovate the house to prepare it for sale. However, her homecoming is anything but warm. People from the past chronicled in the House of Horrors, back in the shadows, or lurk in the shadows. And locals aren't thrilled that their small town has been made infamous thanks to Maggie's father. Even more unnerving, Bainbury Hall itself a place filled with relics from another era that hint of a history of dark deeds. As Maggie experiences strange occurrences straight out of Ewan's book, she starts to wonder if what he wrote was more fact than fiction. Alternating between Maggie's uneasy homecoming and chapters from her father's book, Home Before Dark is a story of a house with long buried secrets and a woman's quest to uncover them, even if the truth is far more terrifying than any haunting. Tell me, does that sound like a book that you want to read before you go to bed and then have to leave all the lights on in the whole house? Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. So anyway, if you've got this book before, what did you think about it? Was it, uh, 
as a uh, scary as maybe it sounds or just kind of thrilling does it keep you on the edge of your seat i'd love to get a book like that again i haven't found one yet that's uh wanted to keep me want me to keep keep reading so i'm really looking forward to finding a book like that but anyway i want to thank you all for joining me you guys are just amazing i would love to hear about the books that you chose this month and um any more recommendations that you can give me that i should pick next time so anyway take care everyone um your support it's just amazing and i love you all thanks everyone for joining me i hope you go out have a fantastic week and we will chat again soon Bye bye